to get the one there. Now in the box, Gary Sheffield. First offering on its way. Mantle is off of first with two away. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. Oh. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3 1. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. On a line, that's a base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Stepping in, Corey Kluber. The pitcher, Corey. Here comes the first pitch. Well-thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half. But nothing safe. A dive, and he knocks it down. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Stepping in now, Craig Biggio. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Going back is the left fielder. Booyah! Digging in, Mickey Mantle. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. First pitch on its way. Split fingered pitches in there for strike one. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. And it's gone. Three and one now. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. And that's in there on the hands. Three and two now. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now battle. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Casey Mines is the batter now as he looks at a ball of one and oh. Now the pitch. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike, one and two. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Rob Dibble comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Into the box, Ryan Sandberg. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now that Standing in, Chipper Jones. Chipper. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Chipper swings and hits a ground ball to second. On to first as they're able to take care of Chipper. Two away. Into the box now, Fred McGriff. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Swing and a miss, 0-1. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on-deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie it. One and one the count now. Now here it comes. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. 
somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting the barrel to the baseball. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. On paper, this one was very evenly matched as we had two wild card division teams going at it. It's always rewarding to beat a team that's had some similar success, so I think they have to feel pretty good about themselves right now. 4-2 to two with a final score tonight. Cleveland took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very 